The following is a recording of my conversation with MetaSignals founder, Nathan, and I want you to know that this is part one of a three-part recording. So if you want to see the other parts, just wait for them as they'll be attached to this video. And also you can find more information about the MetaSignals NFT in the description below. Again, full disclosure, I am an investor and actually an advisor as well on this project, but that's because I actually believe in it. So without further ado, here is my conversation with Nathan. A very special day today as I'm joined by the founder or the co-founder, I should say, of MetaSignals, which is a project that I am, full disclosure, an investor in and also an advisor in as well. And so I'm definitely heavily biased here, but for good reason, I do believe. And I think that uh, the purpose of today's conversation is to kind of show you, you know, what this whole thing is so that you can see it and also get to know one of the co-founders as uh, Nathan here, I actually met personally about literally a year ago to the day. And it was a pretty, it was a pretty interesting meeting because um, I think it was like two or three years prior to that, you had gotten into uh, our community and you started using our tools. And I remember you sent me a message like, hey, I'm working on something. I'll get back to you. <laughs> and that was like, that was, that was like two or three years ago. And then you came back to me about two to three years later and you said, hey, I have meta signals now. And I basically have pr uh, created a whole system around some of your tools. Um, and also your own input as well. And it sounds like you really started to create your own thing. So I wanted uh, to give to give people a chance to get to know you, like how you kind of got into this, what essentially you were doing during that whole time and, uh, and what the purpose of MetaSignals is as of right now. <laughs> so, By the um, way, before you go on, I should let everyone know, if you want to follow MetaSignals on Twitter, here's their, uh, here's their page right here, just at MetaSignals. They post a lot of their setups and also freely in their Discord as well. Um, anyways, go ahead. Just wanted to make sure that people knew that. Yeah, so basically going, uh, well, if we start at the, the beginning, I I started, my interest in crypto started with, with the price increase in Bitcoin, like most people. I started noticing it when it was 600 bucks. Uh, I'm based in Thailand. I've been here for over 20 years. So the the measurement of gold in Thailand is, is a bot. They don't do grams or uh, ounces. So one bot of gold was equal to about $600. And there's gold shops everywhere. So every day I would walk home from work. I am uh, I was a marketing director at a hotel here. And the price of gold would be about $600. I'd go home, look at Bitcoin, and it would be $650. And then the next day it'd be $700. And the next day $800 and onwards. And I started to feel that FOMO feeling. And that's so that, that was late 2016. That's when I started to get pulled in. I obviously I had been aware of it since the Mount Gox days, but it was late 2016 when I, when I jumped in and uh, I think Ethereum was $9, uh, Monero was $12, Bitcoin was in the yeah, 600, 700 bucks. So like most people, I got interested because price was going up every day, gold was steady and crypto was obviously doing something different. Um, probably like most people too, the first couple years, I printed out white papers, I went into crypto Reddit, I I tried to find out, uh, research all the fundamental analysis of all the new shit coins after, after Bitcoin did its thing and got boring and then I was looking for the the 100 X's and the 1000 X's, so I was moonshot, into baby. all the moonshots, yeah. So I, I, I had no concept of technical analysis whatsoever. My my technical analysis was refreshing coin market cap and going, okay, well, it's, it's a good day. We're up today. <laughs> it's, um, green. it's green today. Things are good. I was right. My analysis was correct. Like, yeah, okay. Yeah, you feel validated. My, my you feel validated. It's, yes. And then it all crashed. And about that time I started, I came across your channel when you were in Chicago at the mm -hmm. time. Uh, when it all crashed, I realized, okay, this isn't all just about what who's got a good team and what are the fundamentals there's something more right. going on here the technology and I, the, it's not just about the technology the best mm -hmm. technology doesn't win sometimes there is no technology <laughs> sometimes it's just the chart that's yes. being traded so as i started to watch you that concept well, initially, as I started to watch you, I had no idea what you were talking about, to be <laughs> honest. <laughs> I mean, but I, I could tell that the, you, right? So after watching you for a while with no idea what you're talking about, I decided, all right, 
it's time to it's time to get serious about this. I'm going to quit my job, which I had been at for 11 years, Jesus. with a, a very yeah with a very nice salary and very comfy position. But I decided, all right, uh, if I'm going to do this, I need full focus. <clears throat> so I quit my job, and I got your course, and I spent every day with it for probably nine months. I mean, I'd do a video and then look at the charts and then replay the video and, you know, to do it right, I don't want to put anyone off buying your course, but to do it right, it's, uh, you got to put in the time, like, like you say in yeah. The, yeah. the videos for it. So after, after doing the whole course and, you know, nine months goes by, a year goes by and I realize, okay, there's something here. It starts to make sense when I look at the chart, especially the jewel indicator combined with some other indicators, I can see the, the patterns on the chart. I realize, okay, there's something here. I can, I can create a system that will allow me to trade and win more than I lose, which is the, that's what we're all looking to do, right? Indeed. So I realized I can create this system for myself uh, in the beginning, obviously quite basic. But then what was the reality of my day? So if I had created something that that worked well on a Bitcoin one hour chart, I wake up in the morning, I'm ready to go, I want to make some money. The next question is, do you have the discipline to sit and wait for your setup to appear? And my observation and experience is that most people don't have that discipline. And what ends up happening is you force trades. So there's nothing on i've got a bitcoin one hour strategy great i've been sitting in front of the computer for eight hours there's no setups whatsoever but i'm i see something it's going to happen or i just read something on twitter and you know let's make something happen here and then you lose and yeah. then you tell yourself you're not going to do that again you're going to trade your strategy uh sounds great until you have to start <laughs> waiting again <laughs> Right. So, and then at the same time, I started to realize, well, wait a second, I've got this Bitcoin one hour strategy. What about the two hour and three hour and six hour and 12 hour? There's potential setups happening. I would look back over the past week and realize like, oh, there was something, there was a perfect setup on the 12 hour and I completely missed it because I wasn't watching the 12 hour. And then you expand out from that and you've, you've got setups that were happening on Ethereum on a 45 minute that weren't happening on Bitcoin. And and you can go out from there with the basic premise being there's setups happening all the time on all these different tokens and coins, and you're not aware of them. And maybe you can watch six charts or 12 charts, uh, maybe effectively, but in the end, you'll, you'll burn yourself out. At least for me, that was my experience. So at that point, I said, well, why don't I just create some kind of alert system that tells me when I have a setup, regardless of what token it's on. So if I'm looking at uh, potentially like maybe t the top 20 or 30, and I'll trade anything from a 30 minute to a 24 hour. But I want to be notified when we have when when there is a setup. So it's simple, right? Well, it sounds simple, but actually, it's, uh, actually, it's a hell of a journey to to conceive that and then actually build something that tells you, hey, there's a meaningful setup here. Right. Am I am I making sense so far? Yeah, I think a lot of people kind of deal with this uh, this particular issue. I've seen a lot of people in the community. I've dealt with it myself. It's like you first go through the excitement of learning technical analysis or, or, or something to give you an edge, and then you create a system around it. You're like, okay, I'm ready to go today. You sit down at your computer. You're like, all right, I'm waiting. <laughs> Where's that setup? And you know, especially even if you're trading on like a lower term time frame, there is going to be a lot of waiting involved, and it tests your patience and you know, you might, you might actually have a great strategy, but the problem is, is that if you don't have the patience to wait for it, it, you have no strategy because you can't play out your fucking strategy. So at the end of the day, if you really, you know, I, I think I, I think I understand where you're going with this. The problem that this really solves for a lot of people is that you can 
divert your attention elsewhere, maybe to more important matters. And you can be alerted of, oh, I got some over here that gives me some sort of an edge, some sort of a probabilistic setup that I could take advantage of. And I don't need to sit down and watch this damn thing at all hours of the day. And I can still get that value. Right. And then when an alert is triggered to tell you that you have a setup, you have some confidence knowing that the alert stems from a back-tested strategy that has proven to have a consistent edge. So the alert's not telling you, hey, market buy right now, 100x, let's go. It's telling you, hey, there's a potential setup here. Pull up. If you like what you see, take it. If you don't, ignore it. No problem. Why don't 